Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and this is my 100th video. Interestingly enough, YouTube says I have a different number of videos depending on where I look. I therefore counted them, and this is in fact my 100th upload. Coincidentally, I started this channel three months ago today. In the short time, my videos have been viewed over 3,000 times, totaling over two and a half days of view time. I now also have more than 60 subscribers. I thank all of you for making my channel grow so much and so quickly. I hope everyone continues to leave me comments and continues to watch because I love making videos and I love the ideas others give me. Since this is my 100th video, I figured I would do it about the 100th element, fermium. Fermium was first detected in 1952 in the Ivy Mike hydrogen bomb test. Under Cold War secrecy, its existence was not revealed for a couple years, and after the discovery was made public, it was decided that it would be named after the Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, who had died the previous year. Fermi is famous for developing the first artificial self-sustained nuclear reactor. Fermium is the heaviest element that could be made by bombarding lighter elements with neutrons, making those elements undergo a series of beta decays until a heavier element is created. Heavier elements can only be created through a collision of two lighter nuclei, so fermium is, as a consequence, the last element that can be created in visible amounts. However, visible amounts of fermium have never been created. There are 19 known isotopes of fermium, ranging in mass from 242 to 260 AMU. The longest lived by far is fermium-257, with a half-life of 100.5 days. Its chemistry is typical of the late actinides, typically having a plus-3 oxidation state, though the plus-2 state can occur as well. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. It has been a great 100 videos, and I look forward to many more. Until next time.